It's hardly hurt. Woo! She's alive, buddy. She's alive. No problem, right? That's right. <laughs> Bronc Buster's ready to go again. Good. Well, that didn't go so good. Okay, Bronc Busters. Good morning. Tyler and Amy, we are yet on another journey and we're going to be bouncing back in time a little bit to tell the story of Pritchett Canyon and why it's taken us so long to get this video done. <laughs> we are, surprise, surprise, on another journey, right, Amy? We are headed to Moab. We're gonna be back in Moab. Uh, for Bronco Safari. We actually are gonna go back and do Pritchett again this week, but I wanna tell the story of what happened and kind of what's transpired over the last three weeks. You know, first off, we'll say that our schedule has been just nuts. It's One totally chaotic. After another. We love our home in uh, the hill country of Texas. Everybody thinks that, hey, these guys get to travel all over the place. It's wonderful, which it is. I it's don't get awesome. me wrong. We miss our home. And as we were leaving last night, we we're looking at all the beautiful wildflowers that are blooming. You know, I don't think most people know what the hill country of Texas looks like. And so I'm going to put a small plug in for our event in Mason, Texas this October 12th through the 15th. Come on out and check out the hill country. You can be part of this beauty that we have here. So maybe Mason, Texas, we're going to have a wonderful event at Wheeling for a Cause that we did this last January and then now in October where we benefit a veteran that has done so much for our country. And this next one, we're still vetting a few people, but we also have some organizations that we help to benefit. So hope you enjoy what it looks like here in the Hill Country and felt it was fun to show you a little bit of what Texas looks like. With that, our story begins the week of Easter. Now, we were not gonna be in Moab at all, other than Matt asked us to come help him do a build and then invited us to Moab with him. So we go to Moab and the one day I wanted to go do Pritchett, we were invited with Dana Spicer. What did Amy say? I said, look, like it safe and go hang out with Matt Matt's off-road recovery. So not really playing it safe, but I mean, those guys are really cool. And honestly, but I already had heard about how bad Pritchett was and I didn't want to go there. Okay, So playing it safe, <laughs> not doing Pritchett. Got it. So we were invited to go do Hell's Revenge with Matt and Hefe, Hefe's new Bronco, Robbie Layton and his limousine. So that was our choice. We decided to do that and it was cool. It was fun, but I still had Pritchett on the mind and we had to leave the next day. So I talked Amy into, all right, let's, let's get a few people to go do Pritchett with us. And then and as soon as we're done, I promise we're going to leave and head home. Levi, my buddy uh, that's with us in his XJ on 33s that, I don't know, defies all logic in some <laughs> of the stuff he does. He goes over with me and we go talk with uh, Matt and Josh with Bleep and Jeep. And we say, hey guys, come to Pritchett Canyon with us. We'll be probably one of the first six gen Broncos out there. If you don't know, these guys are a Jeep channel. They're not fans of Broncos. Uh, we're, we're, it's just because they don't know us They yet. just don't know us. So we talk them into it. That next morning we head out and I get Amy, we go to leave and Amy says, why? I am not feeling it. I woke up with the worst pain that I can ever remember. My stomach was awful. I wasn't moving. So I wasn't going to try and convince her into going. She's not feeling <laughs> good because I know we're going to be doing a lot of jumping and bouncing. bouncing around. And it's not going to be an easy trail. So I said, all right, I'll try and be back around 12, one o'clock so we can head home. Okay. What, what is that for? To drag out Broncos from Pritchett. We'll see, huh? We'll see. So just past the sign that said, welcome to Pritchett Canyon, nine out of tra uh, trail rating, nine out of 10. So we'll see. We'll see if it uh, is as hard as everybody says. So we go to the trailhead, we start, we do our intro video with Matt at Bleepin' Jeep and Josh. And of course they give me a hard time about the Bronco. I, you know, I give them a hard time about the Jeep. We have our Jeep eater. They have our, their Bronco recovery vehicle. Good morning. Well, we are here. I'm here with Matt with uh, Bleep and Jeep, and we got a little fun video today. We are going to do Bronco versus Jeep, or like you said, Jeep versus Bronco. We're on one of the hardest trails in Moab, Pritchett Canyon, and level nine out of 10, I guess. Jeeps are gonna take the win for sure. We'll see, we'll see. It'll be fun either way. We're gonna have a good day, and let's, let's go hit it. I kind of like that little bit of a banter back and forth. Kind of why I like my Let's Go Bronco shirt. You know, it can mean whatever you want it to mean. So we take off on the trail. We're having fun. We're doing different optionals. And, you know, I'm really enjoying my time on, on Pritchett Canyon. It's definitely some good obstacles that are a good challenge.
So we got a big group in front of us here. So I guess that gives uh, gives Richard some time to screw around, right? All right, give it the beans. Woo! Yeah, crawl it up there. Now turn. Right there, hold that line. All right, turn. Go. Perfect. Gain of 60, putting it to work. Right there. Pull it up that right side. Well, looks like we got a whole group behind us now, dropping in. So we're now sandwiched between two groups. Well, looks like this is our next fun little obstacle. Doesn't look too bad, just some steps to get up. Get up close here, you can get a better idea how vertical this is. What's going on, Levi? Well, I've got an upper control bolt that's uh, gone MIA, so. But you know what, it's just Pritchett. I mean, it's, you know, it's not like it's hard or anything, right? So just roll with it, is that what you're saying? Just, yeah, we'll just roll with it. Just keep going until yeah. it breaks the axle off. And then we got, hey, Rory, Matt. We got a Bronco to tell you. If we got the Bronco, it wouldn't be the first time I've been hooked up to it. This is why you always do a nut and bolt check before everything you do every trail. day. Yes. Good thing it's not an airplane. That's right. Good thing it's not an airplane. So we've got a Allen wrench for the wind for the upper control joint here. Oh, man, that's beautiful. That is so pretty. Right. That is... Uh, I, I, I can feel my Jeep smiling already. She's getting a little more duct tape. And then you're gonna leave it like this for the next ride, right? Yes. Oh, I'll fix it in 24, 25. <laughs> <laughs> in 2000. 2024, 2020. Okay, so now we got uh, bleeping Jeep guys coming up. <laughs> and I fell. Okay, give us momentum and come driver. Watch the uh, XJ come up this, probably just walk it. So we'll see how Levi does. 33 inch tires, it's gonna probably make us all look like fools, right? Yeah, we've duct taped the front end. Putting it to work. I think the duct tape's even holding up. Thanks for the help, everybody. So it's quite a big drop in here. So you gotta hug that ledge. Lift a little tire on old Bronc Buster here. It's not that bad. Ledge. 
You're good right there, Grace. I just want to get his. comes buddy Levi. Okay. To the right. To the right. Well, hey, for uh, right. tire lift, you get a 10 out of 10. <laughs> awesome. What's this one called? Optional, just optional. All right. So this is an optional on Pritchett Canyon. Oh, he still has to bump it, but there's no room to bump it. Yeah, stay driver as much as you can. Right there, right there and go. Give it a little good bump, like it's always dry. Let's try it from there. Hold on, hold on. Whoa. Now your other side is too much in the undercut. It's like that balance between the two. But you're gonna have to back up a little more because you're you're too close to the shelf. You'll never get it. Right, right there, right there. Go. That's from there. I think I think we need to let Levi show us how to do it. We go for the middle line now. Yeah, it's grabbing. It's grabbing. Ah, oh, yeah. There's those Patagonias. Right on. Yeah. Or let's break it. No, let's not break an axle, please. It's gonna require more than that. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You need all of that space. Nice! Thought you straighten your bumper back out. Go passenger and climb that wall. There you go. That's it. Woo! That's gonna get you a little funky, but hey, that works. No, it's just, it'll scrape, but it'll push through now. Oh! I didn't realize I had something behind me. Nice, buddy. Yeah. Gotta give it full all the way. Give it to Jake. Give it to Jake from the video. Hey, it's not yours. Just drive it. Give it to Jake. Drive it like he's going. That's right. Stay in it, stay in it, stay in it, stay in it, stay in it. Yeah! Tires warm back up because it is cold today. There he goes. Now he's got it. Okay. That's why it's so slick. Good job. And midway through the day, about one o'clock, we get to the infamous Rocker Knocker. Okay, we are now at the infamous Rocker Knocker. So far, Bronk Buster's holding up great. We went further than uh, a group I know yesterday did, and uh, no carnage other than a JK with a few uh, broken things. We're doing great.
uh, this ended up being my demise. No, I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. I'm sorry. And I know everybody's in the comments gonna give me a hard time. Don't do what, Amy? Do not ever stick your hand out the window thinking you're gonna stop. <laughs> I've seen people. seen people. I literally have seen people where they get in an, a sketchy situation, they think they're gonna roll. First thing they do is they stick their hand out and think they're gonna stop it. I don't care if you're in a four by four big vehicle or if you're in just a little side by side, do not stick your hand out. Anyways, so I tuck in, we roll, and uh, yes, it was uh, it was a little bit of excitement. It goes sideways, I'm gonna tackle you. <laughs> we'll both go that way. Perfect. trying to get up where you put your rocker on the side. Where I was wedging in there, uh, it was it was not allowing me to slide on it. And driver, driver. Ooh. now behind us there's got a whole group the pressure's on a little bit because we got 20 jeeps behind us they're all ready to go up it we need to get ahead and go and this guy says hey i can get you up i'm gonna take you up this other line and so i give it a shot no go he says all right you're gonna have to give it some just get into it. the intent of this trail was not only just to have fun i always try and have a purpose with everything i threw on my icon tie rods i've never tried them out yet i said hey what better trail to give them a good test Pritchett Canyon. This guy says, you gotta give it some. So I get into it and my front end hops. I didn't let out of it. I'm like, all right, maybe I'm gonna kind of gain some traction and come up at worst case scenario, I'll back up and do it again. So as I hop, my front end comes over a little bit, slides down and the momentum carries me. I think you're doing pretty good, absolutely. Did you always get it on video? I did. I was moving out of the way. I'm upside down. You know, everybody's hollering. You okay? I'm fine. You know, as I'm coming over, you'll see a flash. He is always fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think when I die someday, it's probably going to be doing something really so, stupid. So, so just... that's what Amy always teased me. So I, I, I'm over. I get out of it. I had to cut the airbags, the uh, impact or side impact airbags out, so I can get out of the vehicle. <laughs> Yeah, you better back up because it might go backwards in a minute. <laughs> Assess the situation and um, my winch to keep me kind of stabilized. I'm going to set the brake, the emergency brake inside the vehicle. So I crawl back in, I set the brake. No, it's not. Windshield didn't crack. It broke out one window. Hey, my, uh, my light bar held up too. You can't park here. I say, I cut the airbags and keep going. Of a brake, doesn't it? It does, actually. I've been on stuff like that, and I've set the brake, and it holds it. <laughs> well, buddy, what are you doing right now? Well, you know, we're hydro locked, so I'm pulling these uh, spark plugs out. So hopefully, it'll turn over, blow the oil out, 
put the spark plugs back in, start, Let's see. It was upside down for quite a while, which means all, a lot of oil drained into the cylinders. So when you drain oil into the cylinders, it hydro locks. Wait, what, do, what do you got going on back there, Matt and Josh? Oh. Oh, vehicle stickers. Oh, nice. We got... <laughs> oh, my goodness. How are we doing in there, Tyler? Yeah, we're going to see if it'll start. Nice. Hey, look at that shine. It's like that just came out of the dealership. Look how pretty and shiny that yeah, is. It's good as new. I say we go again. Perfect. Woo! Bronc Buster's ready to go again. Let's do it. So, air condition still blows cold. Nice. Uh, engine's running great. The smoke went away. I say we're ready to try this again. Hey, Grace, what were you just saying? Out. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Who needs airbags? I mean, yeah. I look at everything. I'm like, really? All in all, the body's in pretty good shape. It, the Bronco held up tremendously. My Raycor lights held up <laughs> tremendously for being on top of those lights. Not one of them broke. Not they one of them broke. Turned they right turn on. on. And I have them back on the Bronco right now. Well, even though I landed on the top, all of my Raycor lights are still going strong and as we're hanging out a little bit of irony here i'm sitting here not knowing the extent of the damage of my bronco i mean it, it looks pretty rough but yet it's running it's driving and i look down at my phone which i have no service in pritchett canyon but apparently earlier that morning before i went out of service i got an email from ford saying your bronco is scheduled for production and I thought, well maybe this is a sign maybe uh maybe i need another uh, a bronc buster uh, replacement right and anyway so it, it just was funny because I had ordered that Bronco maybe 10 days before when they opened the order banks for 24 hours. I actually ordered a couple just from a you know a couple of my friends at different dealerships deciding, well, let's see what happened, which one comes first, and uh, probably gonna be a year or two years. And it was already scheduled for production for May, and I'm thinking, okay, well, at least I got a backup plan. Well, we take off, we finish the trail, we have a good time. I, I We go through the rest of the trail, we have a good time. We, we finish all of Pritchett Canyon. There's not one other spot that I went you up. We get, uh, we get to the end, we do our close out with Matt. All right, well, it was a great day today, other than a little carnage, I guess uh, you could say. Uh, appreciate going out with these guys, bleeping Jeep, and of course, Buddy Levi, he's always fun to go out with. Uh, and wife, he does in that XJ just blows my mind. But anyways, uh, also Richard, been a lot of fun. And uh, as always, like and subscribe. Hit the bell, hit the like. Yeah. Not hit the, the like and down. subscribe button because you'll want to get more of our content. Hopefully not rolling next time, right? <laughs> we never know. I mean, last time I was out with this guy, somebody flipped a Jeep that time. It's always a fun time. <laughs> And we, we take off, we're going down the, the trail. Now we're off of Pritchett Canyon. Now it's like 14 or 15 miles of just trails. And we're, so we're, we're, we're going down the road and my steering, the, the infamous Bronco hugs went again. Okay, so we just did our outro. We are completely done with uh, this obstacle. I'm sitting here eating my jerky, coming down the trail. And uh, you'll never guess what we got happening here. You guessed it, tie rod. Well, right. I don't know. I didn't really hit nothing. All of a sudden, I felt something, and then I don't, I don't know. Do so here it is. This is what failed. It literally. Oh snap! Oh snap! <laughs> Sheared off of the icon tie rod. So yeah. Well, I brought extras. <laughs> That was like five minutes. Well, I'll tell you I this. I might think you've done this before. I'll tell you this. You are a Bronco owner, but I'll give it to you that you can work on your own junk. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> My better category so far, where I've been able to do a lot without braking, is the Ford Performance thicker tie rod with the Buster Brace on it. Uh, however, I, I'm a, I am going to be a fan of the Icon tie rod. Um, they are a good solution. And while we're doing that, I'm trying to find a high rock to where I can get up and get a message out to Amy. So I climb up this boulder and I'm holding the phone up. Okay, well, we are exiting out of Pritchett, but uh, we have a brake line breakage. So I'm trying to get some cell service to let uh, Amy know that we are okay. We and because it's SOS everywhere, well, I get one bar 
and I get a text message to finally send. Okay, so good. And it says delivered. It's nothing's coming back to me, but I know at least Amy knows I'm fine. I'm coming. I His one text was, I rolled the Bronco. Well, I, and I said, but I'm okay and we're on our way or something. I don't know, something stupid like that. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a screenshot of it and show you the conversation. Because <laughs> Amy's response was something along the lines of, um, are you okay? Well, first, uh, yeah, she did say, are you okay? I, che- I did check to make sure he was okay first. <laughs> then she says, did you get it on video? You know, and did you mo- have fun? I guess, no, I think you said most importantly, did you get it on video? Yes. And then did you have fun? Word, word travels fast in the uh, off-road world, I guess. Bronk Buster rolled. <laughs> so that, that kind of concludes the day. I drove it all the way out. I got on the highway or to the highway. I aired up tires and I drove it all the way back to Moab. Okay, Bronk Busters, uh, what a day. I'm doing two closeouts on this one. We finished Critchett. Wow. And then we did another, really. Yeah, this... It's been an adventure just getting back to the highway. I think I got more carnage coming back after Pritcher because this is like the real closeout. So Ray Core for the win and Bronco really for the win. Oh, it's still it's running, great. driving, and it doesn't look that bad. No, you rolled it over, we popped the plugs, blew the oil out, and then it finished the trail. Like four major obstacles after that point. We'll call it a fun day. Oh, 100%. A fun day with the fun, Jay. That's right. So we're going to say goodnight. We're going to go get us some food. Thank oh, God. yes. And we're going to say see you on the next trail. Everything going through my mind at that point, though, was, all right, now, one week from now, I have to leave. I got to get all the way back to Texas, and then we got to leave for Tennessee. And Tennessee is a little bit more of a show and shine than it is a hardcore off-roading type of an excursion. And Bronk Buster was pretty rough looking at this point. <laughs> well, good morning, Bronk Busters. Tyler and Doug here, and uh, we got quite the project. We are going to put Bronk Buster back together today. Th- this is the reason why I don't ever let Tyler drive my vehicle. The front grill's damaged, fender, hood, mirror, bar, this top piece up here. Brendan, a friend of ours that used to help me in the Bronco stuff, to come over and help me on Saturday. I get my son Levi, and they're working on things, and I'm driving back and forth, you know, putting panel bond and starting working on the bumper, coming back and helping them, working just till late, late at night. Didn't even get to start doing the body work part of it on the hood until Sunday, and you know, I'm, I'm fast curing my Bondo on there, the body filler painting it nine o'clock at night and Amy's back loading up the trailer hooking everything up we're getting all our product ready to head to Tennessee so we, we ended up loading everything Bronco on the trailer uh, on the crawler hauler the the other trailer back behind with all our product and stuff Amy and I just had to lift it up over and, and install it because on he had given me the option to unhook the box trailer and then unload the Bronco and then put the hood on and I was like no we're not doing that. We are figuring out how to get that hood up on the trailer and attach it while it's still on the trailer. Cause I'm not about, that, that's a long process. And I'm not about it. Well, long story short. And the reason I'm bringing all this in, cause it all ties into one story. And that is the Bronco held up tremendously well. We were able to get it to Tennessee and everybody was surprised. Everybody walking around. Uh, they actually really appreciated and liked the body damage that we had. And we had a good time, met some really great people out in Tennessee. It's one of our favorite events to go to that uh, doesn't, it, we didn't get to go out and do wheeling because I did notice that in all of this, we had a really bad knocking noise going on. And I, I wasn't sure, I thought it was the drive line. I now know since I've replaced front and rear drive line, we now have the Dana 60 in it. The ultimate Dana 60. The ultimate Dana 60 <laughs> in it, that it wasn't those things. Uh, I changed, I, I checked CVs, it's not my CVs. Um, and so I'm pretty sure it's in my transfer case is where we have 
that clicking going on. So I don't know if it's some chain slap, that might be the next weak point. We'll see here in Moab uh, as we go back out and do Pritchett and test everything. And hopefully, hopefully it holds up. Hope you enjoyed this video though. Close this video out now that Amy and I, we left Texas yesterday. Now we're rolling into Moab for Bronco Safari. Gonna be an exciting, fun week. Been a long drive, huh, Amy? Oh yeah. Amy's been a trooper. She's been driving while I've been putting all this content together for you. Hopefully you enjoy this one. We're gonna have a fun time here in Moab. The weather is beautiful. It's 80 degrees out, so a lot warmer than last time. We've got a lot of fun meetups with everybody. We'll have the first metal hardtop on a Bronco on Bronc Buster this week. We're just gonna be installing it out here because they're still finishing it and bringing it. And uh, we are going to go out and have some fun, bring you some more content. But please guys, like and subscribe, smash that bell button for notifications so that you can get these videos as they come out. And Amy and I will continue to try and bring you some great content. Absolutely, can't wait. See you on the next one.